Okay, welcome to uh, ProServe 2012 training videos. In this video, I want to talk about uh, certain updates that require that you run the update tables from the set config program. Now, what I'm going to do, this particular uh, version, I'm running uh, version 2.04. 14 and I'm going to update a new version that was released March 9th uh, 2020 now, I've already downloaded it right here so I'm just going to double click this guy and I'm going to update at this point it's uh, version 2.015 released on March 9th. Now I'm going to change my, normally you don't have to do this, but I, I've got to change it on my computer because my test data is in a different place. So I'm going to change this to there. And then I'm going to unzip. Okay. Now I'm going to close that. Now at this point, I'm going to start up ProServe. Now, right out of the gate, I'm getting an error. It's saying problem trying to update new scheduled daytimer table. Be sure to run update tables from set config. So this is what I'm going to get until I execute that particular update to the set config. Because that what I've done is added a new day timer to the scheduling program. And so it's not going to function until I complete this update. And occasionally it's necessary for you to do this. So what I'm going to do is run set config. Now, if you can't find set config, if it's not on your desktop, uh, you should be able to click your start button and find uh, EasyB softwares in your programs, and you should find the set config there. If you can't find it there, crank up your Explorer and uh, look in your Drive C usually, but again, this is my box, so it's not in my Drive C. Uh, it's on my drive D, but it's in my ProServe folder. And it's called set config, and that's it right there. And if, at this point, if you don't have it on your desktop, you could uh, actually just right click and go ahead and, uh, and, and create a shortcut. Or you could select send to desktop. And go ahead and create a shortcut for this program so you won't have to worry about it anymore and you'll know where it is. So I'm going to double click set config and I'm going to crank this up and we'll select load, answer yes. Now this is the same place that I would go if I wanted to re-index my files, but in this case, I want to select this option, which is update tables. And the reason I'm doing this is because occasionally my software needs a new table and uh, you need to run this in order for it to add that new table to an existing database. So once I've done that, I'm, I'm completed with that. Now when I crank up ProServe and log in, the program is going to recognize, hey, there's a new day timer. So now the, the database or table exists now, so now it can complete its update. A while ago, I got an error here, but this time it's good, so it's going to go ahead and update. Now, my scheduler is going to function now with this new feature, which is basically a new day timer. And I've got a, I've got a new video uh, out there for this new day timer uh, that's going to work in the scheduler. So that takes care of that, and that's how you update. Uh, the, day, the database table with the new day timer uh, table when you update to uh, 2.015 uh, that was released March 9th, 2020. 
2020. And thanks. That concludes this video.